specialities. Now, some may ask, what will shortlisted participants get? First, the chance to win the top prize of 10,000 US dollars. Not too shabby, huh? Secondly, the opportunity to receive professional multimedia training. And on top of that, the offer to work as a full-time or part-time CGTN storyteller. As CGTN has its headquarters in Beijing and regional production centers in Washington, D.C., London, and Nairobi, I guess the top winners will have the choice as to where they want to go depending on where they come from. Very exciting, right? There is still time to apply if you're interested. The winners will be announced in September. So how has this campaign been viewed by some international media? We found that some British media seems particularly interested in this topic. The UK-based Times recently published an article on the campaign calling out CGTN for enlisting UK student influencers. It says CGTN has been targeting British university campuses and offering students the chance to win thousands of pounds by becoming pro-Beijing media, social media influencers, the Times can reveal. Let's pause and break that down. Is CGTN enlisting anyone? People are invited to apply. End of story. If they don't feel like participating, they're under zero pressure to apply. Secondly, the campaign is not targeting anyone from any specific country. As you can tell from the ad, it's open for anyone, anywhere, so long as they're 18 years old or above and comply with relevant rules and regulations. Thirdly, nowhere in the campaign that I can see are people asked to be pro-Beijing influencers. The program is about sharing stories that move the world through culture, music, food. No politics involved. Like Kim Meadows and his golden touch, it seems some people think anything CGTN touches becomes politically charged. The article then focused on some British YouTubers who live in China and make posts about their impressions of live here based on their own experiences. They are mentioned simply because one of the media challenges participants, a Chinese student at a British university, says she is a huge fan of them. These same British YouTubers were accused in another Times article in January this year.